Welcome to Module Monday. Module Monday is a video series where we go over a cool PowerShell module every Monday. This Monday, we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to go over a Python package that's used for connecting to PowerShell. So it's called PyPSRP, and that stands for Python PowerShell Remoting Protocol Client Library. So the idea here is that you can actually connect to Windows machines over the PowerShell Remoting Protocol, or the WSMAN protocol, to uh, actually connect and send commands via Python, um, actually get objects back in Python over the PowerShell Remoting channel, and then kind of invoke commandlets and add things to the pipeline um, that uh, you pretty much couldn't do without having PowerShell installed on the client machine. So uh, there's four different ways to actually kind of uh, access the remote client. Um, first uh, is the simple API for just executing processes and PowerShell scripts and copying files to and from that uh, Windows host. There's also a WSMAN interface uh, that kind of goes up the stack in terms of sending, creating, connecting, and disconnecting to the WSMAN uh, service on that machine. There's a Windows Remote Shell layer that allows you to execute commands and executables uh, using WinRM. And then finally, there's the PowerShell Remoting Protocol layer that allows you to create run space pools and uh, execute PowerShell pipelines uh, remotely uh, from Python. So um, what I'm going to be doing in this example is uh, using basic authentication. So uh, if you look at the steps to install, you can just install this pip using pip install pi psrp. Um, and then you can take additional steps if you want to enable the various types of authentication. So Kerberos um, and Cred SSP, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to use basic auth uh, to make it easy. And then um, I'll show you how to execute a couple things against uh, this Windows machine. So I have a Windows Server machine running here. And I've pretty much opened up um, my PowerShell remoting here. You can see in my group policy editor that I've turned on basic remoting and uh, remote management is on, that kind of thing. Um, and if we actually go to a PowerShell uh, instance here and I use enter PS session, I can actually connect to this Windows server with my credential of dude and basic authentication. Um, just type in the password there, and that will connect to my Windows machine over uh, the Windows remoting protocol. And uh, I'm just running this in a Hyper-V machine on the same box, but if you see here, I'm connected to uh, this remote server rather than uh, my local server now. So I could issue commands over uh, remoting to kind of like get the remote processes and that kind of thing. But let's take a look at how we can do something similar in Python. So I have VS Code here. Um, I'm running the uh, standard Python extension. Um, I have Python 3.7 installed, and I've installed the uh, PyPSRP um, package um, into this Python environment. So in this basic script, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the client from the PyPSRP uh, package. And then from there, I'm going to create a new client um, and specify the Windows server. Uh, I'm going to turn off HTTPS, use basic auth like I had specified in PowerShell, and then use some credentials that I have for my uh, dude user that has access to this machine. Uh, next, I'm going to issue some commands. Um, let's take a look at issuing a basic DIR command um, over uh, WinRM. So if I execute this py, uh, Python script in the debugger, you'll see I'll hit this breakpoint here. And now the standard out is actually going to contain uh, the result of that DRI command. So we ran that just kind of in uh, command prompt. And then um, what you can do additionally is actually execute commands in PowerShell using a similar syntax. So rather than um, issuing a PowerShell command directly, we're actually going to start PowerShell call uh, get child item and then uh, get the current directory. So if we run that, um, now you're going to see standard out is going to contain the information from that uh, PowerShell execution. Um, in addition to uh, executing commands with execute CMD, you can also call execute PS and just issue PowerShell commands directly without specifying the PowerShell.exe um, application name. So uh, in this case, we're going to call get process. And if I step over that, now when we look at output, you're going to see an output of all the different processes on that machine um, in Python. So it's actually returning pretty much standard out to this output of uh, get process. Additionally, uh, if you did something like new item, so you actually took some kind of action that would manipulate the system, uh, we're going to create a temp folder directory inside the, the temp directory. And if I step over that, what you're going to see here is that the output is empty, and that's because I actually had um, an error creating this particular directory. And if we look on the left-hand side here in the error stream, 
you'll actually see that the new item command failed, and we got the uh, ex uh, the exception pretty much uh, that the directory already exists. So uh, it couldn't create this directory because the directory exists, and you have a whole bunch of information in Python about why that didn't work in PowerShell. All right. So let's look at a little um, kind of higher level example. So as you kind of saw here in this example, everything was returned as strings. We did have access to the streams variable that provided the different streams that you get back from PowerShell and that kind of thing. But if you look at the, um, the actual PowerShell uh, remoting protocol kind of interface that they have in this uh, package, it's pretty amazing because it looks very, very similar to um, how you would host it in C Sharp. So at the top here, we're importing PowerShell and run space pool from uh, this package. Again, we're getting a, get a WS man object. This is similar to that client object I created earlier. Uh, and we're going to create a new connection over to my Windows server using the same kind of authentication uh, mechanism that I was using previously in terms of uh, basic authentication. Then we're going to create uh, a, that run space pool from that connection. And from there, create a PowerShell object. Um, add some commands to the pipeline and then invoke that pipeline. So this is actually very, very similar to the C-sharp interface where you have uh, add commandlet to add the first pretty much command to uh, the pipeline. And we're gonna, call, uh, we're gonna call get process in this case. Then we're gonna add another commandlet to the pipeline, which is select object, add an argument of name to just return the names from uh, the processes that we run. So let's actually press F5 here and hit this in the debugger. And once we hit this breakpoint, what you're going to see in terms of the output is instead of just a string, now we actually have an array that contains a whole bunch of objects that were returned over the PS remoting protocol. If we expand one of these, you're going to see that in the extended properties, we actually have the name uh, for this particular process. Uh, there's no other properties because you use ex uh, select object to pretty much just select the name. So uh, if we kind of go through the different uh, objects inside this particular um, array, you're going to just see the various uh, processes that are returned. Um, in addition to uh, calling uh, a single pipeline, you can actually call uh, multiple, multiple commands in a single execution. And an example of that is where you have one pipeline, uh, for example, here, where we call add commandlet, add commandlet again, and return uh, all the names of the processes on this machine. Then you can call add statement to pretty much go to the next line and add another command for get service, and we're going to call the audio um, service pretty much. So let's actually step through that and see what that looks like. Um, and now if we kind of look at this output, you're going to see we have all the different um, processes that are running. And then at the end, we should have uh, the actual service that was running, which in this case, I'm not sure why it didn't return the service unless we had um, some sort of error. And we can actually look at the PS object here, and that will return um, the different streams. So if I go to streams, error, and you can see I have an error record here, and the error record is that the, the get service command did not work. So uh, that service name was not found on that machine. So uh, get process worked, but get service did not, and we got the output from get, or get process, and we got the error return from get service uh, in the error stream in this PS uh, object here. Uh, finally, um, this is another example of kind of accessing the streams. We're going to um, execute an actual PowerShell script. So we're creating a string here that has PowerShell directly in it. Uh, we're going to create another PowerShell object. And we're, this time we're going to call add script um, instead of add commandlet and add parameter directly. So you can actually add the whole text of that particular script in there. Um, and then we're going to call invoke and pass in some arguments. So a string and the number one. And then we're going to print out the output, and then we're going to print out the debug um, result. So on the bottom here, you can see that it printed out the output were two uh, complex objects, um, pretty much one being the string, one being the number. And then uh, next, we're looking at the um, stream for debug. And if we look at that, you're going to see that we have a couple messages um, from the debug stream. And we could actually see that uh, this message begin was written um, right here from write debug. And then I think the other one will be end uh, written right here. 
So as you can see here, uh, we just ran a PowerShell script uh, from Python over the PowerShell remoting channel, um, not actually from PowerShell on, on the client side. So you could pretty much run um, Py PSRP on any machine that's running Python, whether it be uh, Windows or Linux or Mac um, without actually having PowerShell installed and communicating with the Windows machine over the PowerShell remoting uh, protocol and WSMAN. So again, in this video, we looked at Py PSRP, and it's a Python package for uh, remotely administering Windows machines over the PowerShell remoting protocol. So if you like videos like this, definitely subscribe to my channel.